Okay, so this is a speed distance time question. In this case, I'm going to utilize the triangle, right? I'm just going to remember that speed is distance divided by time, okay? Um, because here we're asked to compare, aren't we, the average speed, okay, from um, the average speed last week, which is 9.6 kilometers per hour. So to get average speed, you need to work out the total distance to start with. All right. So she travelled um, these distances on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on. So let's just add them up. So 4.6 plus 5.4 plus 2.2 plus 6.2 plus 7.2 plus 2.2 plus 3.4. So we add them up on our calculator. And we get 31.2 kilometers okay and then we've got to add up the time as well so we want total time so we add them 26 at 31 add 12 add 35 add 40 add 14 add 22 so I work that out it comes to 180 and of course that's in minutes okay so the units are really important here that you take note of the fact that there's minutes there so then when I do average speed, um, as you can see here, to get speed, I need to do distance over time. So I need to divide these. But um, if you've got the distance in kilometers, we should have the time in hours, right? As you can see here, kilometers per hour. So you need to change this to three hours, yeah? Because that's what 180 minutes is. 60 goes into that three times, so three hours. So as I said, to get average speed, it's the total distance divided by the total time. So it'll be 31.2 divided by 3. And if I do that, I get 10.4 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now, um, we haven't finished the question, have we? Because it says calculate Gwenda's percentage improvement in her average speed from last week to this week. So to get percentage improvement, you just kind of sort of um, need to remember this formula. Okay, so you look at the um, the change, right? In this case, it's gonna be an increase, isn't it? Okay, so the change, the increase, divide by the original, and of course times by 100 to change to a percentage. And the change, well, it's gone from 10.4 to um, sorry, it's gone from 9.6 to 10.4. So you just take them away to get that change, yeah? The original last week was 9.6, and then times by 100. So when you do the maths there, of course, you could see that um, it's it's gone um, up by 0 0.8, divided by 9.6 times 100. And you get 8.3% if I round to one decimal place. So it's about seeing it's gone from, as I said, 9.6 to 10.4. So it's increased by 0 0.8. And we're looking at then, so what is 0 0.8 in relation to 9.6? That's where you can see then your percentage improvement. 